So, um, this setup might be a little bit of an overkill for orchids, but, um, I actually had this stuff lying around, so I decided to upgrade, give my plants more space. Uh, sorry, the filter on this fish tank is not doing well, so sorry about the noise. Actually, I should probably turn it off. Alright, now we just have some water noise. So... Here is where my plants are going to spend their winters. Um, this top level, this is um, an LED light, which is 3,600 looms. Uh, because with LED, it doesn't really go by um, wattage. So this light I use to grow aquarium plants. And uh, I took that aquarium down, and I was like, well... I should probably try this with my orchids. And here they are. Uh, these are going to be my orchids that don't necessarily need as much light. And I can always move them around as need be, like put a Phalaenopsis up there. And this Catlia is probably going to need more light. But for the most part, we have. Well, I'm growing some seeds. But um, we have. Uh, oh, why am I drawing a blank? Path, path Pelums. Yes and uh, an Oncidium. And my Cycopses are up here because they're small, but uh, this little guy moves with the light. Um, so I had this rack and I wasn't really using it for much. It was kind of being used to hold shoes and comforters. So I rearranged my closet and got rid of some stuff. And now I'm using it for my orchids. And you might think, well wait, you had all this lying around? Yes, I did. This um, is a styrofoam uh, insulation. And the reason I had that lying around is because about two years ago, I think it was, I was breeding betta fish and creating my own boxes for shipping the betta fish. So this was the leftover insulation I had from making insulated boxes. So yeah had all this stuff lying around, figured it's lying around, put it to some use, and I like the way it looks. I think it looks really cool. We have my red, my red LEDs right here. Um, and when you're growing under lights, uh, the distance that your plants are from the light does make a big difference in how much light they get. So. These guys are a little farther away than they were before. Maybe not quite. I've measured it. It's about 24 inches. 24 inches. And then down here we got another light with the bigger guys. And I put um, the insulation up because I wanted to reflect the light more. The light was really just bouncing all around the room. So it was like light was being wasted in a way. So putting up this reflective wall keeps the light where I want it. I don't have a door on the front because I don't really need that. Um, one bad thing about where this is positioned in this room, well, it's next to the, or the fish tank, which is cool because humidity, which let's check it out. Since I've moved it, set it, that's what we're at right now. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Um, but the other bad thing is uh, under here, is my heater vent. Yeah, right there. Heater vent. So what I've done is covered it so it's not gonna be as it's not gonna be blowing as hard. Uh and then I also put a plexiglass uh thing on top so that it's not hopefully the idea is that it will heat this area, but it will also kinda dissipate more. I don't know. You shouldn't put your orchids over your heater, but you know what, I've grown orchids over heaters before, and right now we haven't been using our heater very much because we have a wood-burning stove that we've been using, so uh, as long as we keep the wood-burning stove going, my heater doesn't kick on as much. So yeah, 
It's pretty cool, huh? I think so. It's a little bit of an overkill, probably, but, uh... I don't know. Had the stuff, might as well, right? So that's where my orchids are living in the wintertime. Still, sunlight is uh, the best thing for them, so they will still go outside for the summer. But for the winter, that's my orchid's new home. Yeah. I love how it looks. Alright, thanks for watching.